Good morning, y'all. Um, hope you have a great day today. So, um, today's day message is on trusting God with our steps. Trusting God with our steps. And knowing that we're, we can trust Him. Because Jesus trusts the Heavenly Father with the steps that He gave Him. And yeah, we might not know where it will take us, but God knows, and we can trust him because he loves us, that true love, as we submit more to him. And just like that um, that cartoon, uh, Spongebob, we know how he was getting, try to get his license, and he had to, um, telling him to, Patrick was telling only him, only the big toe, take out the big toe, to um to put the gas on easy because of what rules he was putting his whole foot on the gas to go fast and if we look at that part is that when we see it when we in our seeing our vision we want to rush to it but if we just be patient and going through the steps and trusting God, doing the hills, the rough parts, the pain, the hurt. And we continue to rely on Him. Because He gives us strength when we are feeling like we're falling or we feel like we fell in certain areas. He will give us that strength as we rely on Him more. And But when we turn away... And we're leaning on our own understanding, we flowing it our way. But when we put the word of God in motion, we be able to what put the gas at a certain level that what we can handle. That God knows what we can handle. Once we are cruising with him and enjoying the blessings that he given us instead of just flooring it like Spongebob could have done what he was used to but when we walk in a new way we are putting our foot on that gas and it's going at a level that we can handle because the more we go down the more blessings the more things we will be able to see because if we're flooring it what happens Everything's rushing, 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 rushing. And we're not having that enjoyable moment to enjoy what God has given us as we, as he given us the steps and being patient with it. And he want us to enjoy the blessings that he has for us and to see that true love that he to experience that true love that he has for us on the things that he's given us and every time that we stop at a certain area destination we bear to to enjoy it for that in, in those moments and yeah the enemy is gonna try to put obstacles and try to distract us that's always gonna happen in our life because the enemy knows who we are. And he doesn't want us to have that victory. Because we have that victory up ahead. When we don't give up. When we continue to be to have that patience. And continue to have that love and that fruit of the spirit inside of us. And it's not easy. It's not easy trying to get past these obstacles that we've been hurt from because it's obstacles that I have been hurt on but the more I the more I have drawn closer to God as I got older the more that he's helping me to work on different areas in my life to to continue to grow on this path and that's what he wanted us to 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 experience as we continue to grow on this path because what happened if we stop at a stop sign and we stay there too long, 
we begin to get worried. We begin to get sad. We begin to get angry. We begin to look at life differently. And God don't want us to just stay at the stop sign and just look at other things passing us by. Looking at life pass us by. Because what we have more, we have more road to go on. We have more road. Yeah, it may look scary trying to pass a, a, on an intersection or, or a four way when things are just going fast this way, that way, that way, this way. But when we wait on the Lord. As he give us to go. It's what. He's. Protecting us. To get over to the next road. That connects our road. But when we had an and At a four way. And we could turn left or right. Or go straight. Which direction are we going to go today? Is we're going to trust our own way? Are we going to trust God's way? Are we going to trust the enemy's way? Or are we just going to sit there at the stop sign? We're too amazing to sit there at the stop sign. We're too amazing to try to follow this enemy. We're too amazing to try to do our own thing. And we submit more to God the more that we be able to cross over to the next road that connects our road and we better see more things that God has for us and I hope this encourages you I love you God loves you peace God bless because it definitely encouraged me